Can a worm cut in half sense anything? Well, here's the thing. Charles Darwin spent 39 years studying earthworms more than 100 years ago. So there has to be something super about these wriggly creatures. There are approximately 2,700 different kinds of earthworms. In one acre of land, there can be more than a million earthworms. Even though worms don't have eyes, they can sense light, especially at their front end. They move away from light and will become paralyzed if exposed to light for too long, which in their case, is approximately around an hour. It will die if its skin dries out. Here's even more interesting stuff. Worms are hermaphrodites. Each worm has both male and female organs. Worms mate by joining their clitella, which is a swollen area near the head of a mature worm, and exchanging sperm. Then each worm forms an egg capsule in its clitellum. Worms tunnel deeply in the soil, and bring subsoil closer to the surface, mixing it with the topsoil. Slime, a secretion of earthworms, contains nitrogen. Nitrogen is an important nutrient for plants. The sticky slime helps to hold clusters of soil particles together in formations, called aggregates. Earthworms exhibit a tube within a tube body plan, and are externally segmented with corresponding internal segmentation and usually have setae on all segments. They occur worldwide wherever soil, water, and temperature allow, and come in various sizes, from minuscule 0.2 mm in length, to giant Microchetus rapi of South Africa, measuring a whopping 21 feet. But having said that, let's get back to the topic. Can a worm, cut in half sense anything? Leaving out all the gory details, here's the answer. Earthworms, or Lumbricus terrestris to the scientific world, are annelids, and have a very simple nervous system. With a single nerve cord running the length of the body, and side branches for each segment, and yes, no brain. If an annelid is cut in two, they can regenerate to some degree. In some species, you can even end up with two worms. The common earthworm, however, will only regenerate from the tail end, the head end always dies. The tail end that is left, will still to be able to sense along its entire body. But the most sensitive sensory structures are located in the frontmost segment. So its senses, will be somewhat limited, until this part regenerates. Strange, but that's nature. And this is popular science for all.